Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Spyro. In the last episode, we finished off the Magic Crafters world, and now we are in the, what is it called, Beast Makers world. So we're exploring this area and whatnot. Uh, between episodes, I did say I was going to look to see how many levels, because I was like, okay, it's weird, Magic Crafter had um, the hub world, and then three levels, then a flight level, and then a boss. And I was like, well, that's weird. Did they just increase from these, or did I miss levels? So I went ahead and looked online and everything, just to make sure. And I did. I missed a level here, and I missed a level here in Peacekeepers as well. So we are going to go back and do those two levels right after we do this flight here, and then we'll come back to Beastmakers. But yeah, I can't believe I missed that. I thought I might have missed something, because it seemed kind of off. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do today. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe if you see more. What? Subscribe if you want to see more. Wow, words. And let's get right to it. Okay, let's go ahead and do the flight. Okay, hopefully this one goes pretty well. Like, the Magic Crafters one went pretty well. I mean, I am getting better at them. Oh, that number is going to bother me. I like round numbers. <laughs> this is not... Ooh, that's going to take me off. Okay. I don't deal well with the uneven numbers. Okay. Let's see, how's this going to go? Okay, so we probably need to get these first. Okay, is this going to be one of the first ones where we got to hit, like, multiple different things? Like, there's going to be just everything kind of... Or did that just kind of mess that up, maybe? Okay, I didn't do that, I swear. I don't know what that was all about. I, I was pulling back on the stick, but oh well. We'll try it again. So I hit one of these, but then I decided to go through here. I just got a little too low before. Mainly because I was too focused on hitting that guy. I'm gonna go through here. This one might actually be a bit harder than some of the other ones we've done, because everything kind of seems all over the place. And I'm not sure. I'm missing a chest somewhere. Okay, usually things are in, like, a pretty direct order, so maybe I missed one earlier on. Okay, I'm running out of time now. This is annoying. Huh. all those guys. Yeah, I failed. I know. So I at least got all the planes. Okay, I'm supposed to hit boats. That's something else I need. Oh, there's where I missed that chest. I thought it was going to come back all the way around, so that's kind of screwed me over. Okay, I missed boat guy. Let's go ahead and try to get all these archways first. Get the boat guys while we're at it, right? Oh no, that screwed me up. Okay, yeah, this one's definitely gonna be harder. Okay, let's go ahead and start over. This one's gonna be hard. I think I can do it, though. I just gotta focus. Focus in. Hone my skills. Okay, I'm gonna leave that chest there. Just because of the fact that uh, I kind of want a marker for whenever we get back here. Just because I think it might be useful. Glad boat guys did three seconds instead of just the two. Okay, I got all the archways. Now I need more boat guys. This is kind of a nice little tunnel. Lazy river type thing, right? Oh man, I missed boat guys here. That's going to throw me off. No, I meant to not... Alright, when I meant to do the turn around one, there we go. That could have possibly screwed me up, but... Are you kidding me? Okay, I think I got it, though. It's not too difficult now that I got it somewhat figured out. Ah. That bump, like, bumping into it and it pushing me back, that screwed me up. You know, problem is I never know how close I have to get to these guys to actually hit them with my fire breath. So a lot of times I either go too low or too high, like, to get to them. But see, so you can actually generally hit them pretty far back, it looks like. Come on, I need boat boy. There we go. Just do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, right? Waste a little bit of time. 
Ooh, that guy almost rammed right into me. Okay, where's his last... Get back here, mister. Don't start going up that lazy river again. Okay, turn around. Thank you, Spyro. Okay, let's hurry up. I just gotta get chests and... What was the other thing? Oh, my planes. Are you serious? I bumped into a wall. That's so annoying. Come on, I know I can do this. It's, it's not that difficult. I like skipped across the water there for a second. That was bad. I also missed a boat, I think. That could possibly screw me up. I'm bumping into every little thing here, dude. There we go, nice and calm. Hit you. There's four boats left. I missed another one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys off and then I'll turn around. Okay, I was hitting up on the stick, but I started to go down, so I had to switch. That was annoying. That could have cost me that. That guy falling threw me off. I thought he was... I thought he was a whatchamacallit, uh, another plane. No. No, come on, really? I was so close, but I got thrown off because I hit something like that. Okay, fly this direction because they'll have to come into you. Come on, there's three, two, one. Ah, oh my gosh. Complete wild flight without touching the ground. Yes, 0.8 seconds left on the timer. That was close. Sweet. Okay, that went really, that went pretty well. I gotta say, I like the flight challenges. Like I said, I liked them whenever I was a kid and I still like them now. Oh, 5350. Oh, that's funny. 5353. Okay, I couldn't have planned that if I tried. <laughs> okay, awesome. So now we need to go back to Artisan's World. I'm so glad we could just fast travel without having to, like, go and find, you know, like, oh, go back to the blimp or something like that. That was so sad. Could you imagine if we had to go back all the way to the blimp to travel back? Okay, so I am going to use a guide for this because I'm not exactly sure where the level is I missed because I thought I found them all. So it says, um, I need to stand on the bridge where you started the game. Look right to spot the purple tunnel. There's a purple tunnel? Okay, I see red tunnel, blue tunnel, blue tunnel. I don't see, I guess that that's purple tunnel, I guess. It says it's just past the columns, those are columns. Go down the ramp at the end into the tower with, the, there's a whirlwind within it. Portal will be right in front. Wait, really? Did I miss? Okay, if I'm, how did I miss that? Because it's saying it should be right down here. I gotta see where this is at, because if I miss this totally, like, I'm gonna be really... I'm really embarrassed. I saw this one, too! Oh my gosh. I feel so stupid. How many of you guys are gonna be yelling at me because it's just like, I missed something so obvious. That's bad. I even went up there, too, remember? Like, twice, because I think I fell at one point. That's nuts. How did I miss that? Maybe I should just start doing the levels as I run across them instead of trying to do the hub world. Because obviously I can't remember where all the, the whatchamacallit, the archways are. I wonder then, the one that I missed in um, the the Peacekeeper world. I wonder if that one was like behind the, the, the whatchamacallit. Oh, what you call it? The, where I said, the area where I said past the egg cake, where I was like, oh, I already got that one. I mentioned it a couple episodes back, where I was just like, oh yeah, there was nothing back there, there wasn't a world, there was just like an egg thief or something like that, or a collectible. There was probably a portal back there too, and I probably just missed it. This is a nice little break though, because this, you know, nice easy level, you know, since this is the tutorial area. Nils. Ooh, he's cool. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Yeah, kind of funny to get tutorial level this late. Burn the bull. These guys are creepy looking. Look at those faces, man. He looks constipated. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, 
Here we go. Yeah, this is where they teach you to kind of glide from platform to platform, huh? I almost walked right off that edge, so that would have been embarrassing. Oh, Devlin! Oh, that cake looks good. I have, the worst I have such a bad sweet tooth. Wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? I think we've heard that before, right? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got you both. I hear laughing boy. Where is he at? Ooh, two for the price of one. Gotcha. Okay. Don't miss. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll grab you. Who are you? We've got Alvar. Oh, that's a cool name. Oh, he's cool looking. Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. He's kind of dramatic. I love the way he threw his cleaver down. That was cool. It's so dramatic. I mean, right to be dramatic. Literally, dragon egg. That means they took the kids, right? <laughs> Had your kids. Um, okay, I somehow... Yeah, I know the thief is... Ah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, that, that's... I have the right idea. At least I think I do. I just gotta get the angle a bit better. Do that. Nope, I'm, I think I'm taking too long to turn, maybe? Yeah, I was taking too long to do the turn. Leap on the wind. I had to a secret egg thief area in town square. Huh. Again, I'm a little kind of surprised I'm not getting skill points for these? Or maybe I am and I'm just not seeing the skill point thing pop up. Sorry, Egg Thief, you're kind of my second priority here. Gems come first. Ooh, okay, we got... Kind of, oh, he's hopping around. I see how it is. Okay, where'd you go, you little thief? I'll get that stuff later. Whoa, where did... Where did he go, dude? Did he just go up and turn back around? I don't know where he went. This is like the start of the level, ain't it? Great, where'd he go? I have no idea where I'm at now. I am so lost. Okay, we're back over here. Because we had to glide across this way. Oh, and then we did that glide over there, duh. Where'd this stupid egg thief go? So annoying. Yeah, he's back at his starting point. What a jerk. I'm surprised they have such a tough one, and like, I mean, he's probably not that tough. I probably could have got him if I just focused more on that and less on the gems. Yeah, he's, he actually has a pretty good run to him. Nah, he's pretty easy. I can't believe I did that, dang it. So again, this makes me wonder how many eggs are there total throughout the game, because we found like a truckload of eggs, and it also makes me wonder what's the prize for finding all the eggs. Like I said, I've never completed this game. I don't even think I've ever beaten the game. I don't know if my brother has either, like either, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think he's ever beaten it. So I'm interested to see kind of where this is going. Um, yeah, to get up there, I have to do this again. Yeah. Interesting that basically you have to do the secret to get uh, all the dragons and everything. I mean, it makes sense because we had that other dragon on the other level where it was kind of a secret area we had to get to, I guess, in a sense. Interesting, though, that they have this in a tutorial level, but I guess it makes sense. It's kind of teaching you how to glide, get around, find secrets. This kind of makes sense as kind of a good tutorial level for teaching all that stuff, so it makes sense why I was kind of like, whenever we got to the second area, I was like, huh, it feels like they kind of skipped teaching us some stuff, and they just kind of expected you to figure it out. And you are Thor. Ooh. 
Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress <laughs> That's <Thor>. by accessing <laughs> the guidebook in the pause menu. There we go. Level complete. So now we can return home, and now we are officially done with that area. Which is good. So the only other one we're missing is in the uh, Peacekeeper's world. I think we're missing one that had quite a bit of dragons, actually. Because let's see, if we go to Peacekeeper, yeah, because you know, I think we have everything here now. So let's go to Peacekeepers. I don't know if we ever see that one I ran across, I just totally forgot about. The one in the Peacekeepers area, I think I just totally forgot about it. Like, I never actually even did it, you know what I mean? Well, not did it. Of course, I didn't do it because I was just helpful to it. But what I mean is um, that I think I just totally never found it. At least I'm hoping that's the case. Otherwise, I'm going to feel really stupid. So, according to this, it should be... Okay. Over here by Balloon Guy. Ow. That wasn't very nice, dude. Okay, we got a Balloon Guy. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I never found this one, so yeah. I don't feel too bad then. This one was this one was actually pretty well hidden, I gotta say. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and close down my notes on that. Because like I said, I'm not cheating. I'm not going to use a walkthrough to find all the dragons and all that stuff. I'd rather do that on my own. I just wanted to find the levels because I'm like, if I miss a level, you know, that's just my own stupidity. <laughs> Okie dokie. Ice cavern. So my guess is with the night sky and everything, this is going to be kind of dark. I like the aurora they got going on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there is... I thought so. There's so many dragons here and a buttload of gems. That's what I was like. I feel like we were missing a bunch of stuff. We obviously were. This is like five dragons. Okay, this is going to be probably a pretty big area. Let's see how fast I can get through this. Yeah. Okay, first dragon. Ah, that's... After ah, the fodder creatures. I was like, are they attacking me? Nope. They're, they're the ones for giving you, uh... Ooh, ooh, right. Health, yeah. Oh, he's cool. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Yeah, basically, this is where they teach you you can't charge large enemies. You have to flame them. I missed a lot of tutorial stuff, didn't I, because of that? Because I missed some of the levels. I mean, some of it was pretty obvious. You know, you change your tactics depending on the enemies, but yeah. I feel like they taught us that in other levels, though, too. That's probably why they have it, like, in multiple levels in case you, like, miss a level or something like that. They probably teach you it multiple times. Then again, those these big guys seem easier than some of the other big guys we've had to fight. Just in the sense that they don't do a lot. They just kind of stare at you. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and grab this guy over here. And you are Todor? Tudor? Tudor? Oh, you're cool. S Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. I like that. that that's a really cool design. I really like that dragon's design. Like, a lot. That one was cool. I don't say that about most of the dragons, but that one I was like, I, I like the eyes on him and the like the slender dragon design, the wings and the whole like arrow shooting concept. That was cool. <laughs> Again, I'm kind of a fantasy nerd, so you know, fantasy stuff like that gets me every time. Oh, seriously, I hit the wrong button. Getting ahead of myself there. Yeah, we'll probably make this episode just slightly longer because I want to finish this level for the end of the episode so that way we could just have all uh, new zones kind of thing in the next one because we still need to finish the zone before we're in. Okay, so here's the chest we need a key for, so that's good to know. So there is a key we need to look for, and it's pretty early on in the level that the key goes to. Okay. So there's the norks. So we push them off the edge because I said it makes their feet slippery, so my guess is we charge them and they go sliding off the edge.
Don't even think about slapping me, dude. Okay, there we go. Right in the face. Got you. Got you. Hey, we got most of our lives back. I think we had 10 whenever we started the episode. Or not the episode. Uh, whenever I started this recording session, which was, I think, like, episode 5 or something like that, we started with 10 lives. Okay, there we go. Andor. Oh, you're Thank cool you looking, too. I like the designs of the dragons in this world, too. I gotta say, the Peacekeeper world had a lot of cool dragon designs, also. Like I said, the main reason I liked the, the Magic Crafter one was because of the fact that I liked all the fantasy-themed ones. Wait. Okay, we can get there from... Okay, I'm gonna go back for that, but I think I know how to get that. So we go back... Up through here. Right? Yeah. I'd go running, but I don't want to go sliding off the edge. I could probably run. Okay, we go back up here. We're probably gonna have to run through all this again, right? Because what was through here? Yeah, this is what allows us to get over to there. At first I thought I was gonna go sliding off. I was like, no, don't do it, Spyro. It's not worth it. So we do that, we come back here. And then we'll go back and get the treasure chest with the key. Please give us a save. Thank you. Cool. I'm gonna try to just run. Run! Sweet. Got a bit better control now. Getting better at it, right? Keep it go back this way. I just figured we go ahead and get this out of the way too, so we can just keep getting through the level without having to worry about doing some, like, you know, um, backtracking for cleanup. There we go, open the chest. Give us the gems. Perfect. Thank you, save. I could probably do that glide again, but I don't want to chance it, so we'll just go ahead and do, you know, a quick run. I mean, as long as it's that far out of the way, it just adds a couple of seconds to our travel time. And we can glide from here, we'll not glide. It'll probably be faster to run, yeah. There we go. Oh, he got me. Darn. Almost made it through the level without getting snowballed. Ooh, are you gonna be able to hit me from up there? Oh, he can. How rude. I'm so nervous about ice levels. I mean, it seems like the dragons, you know, have pretty good grasp on not, uh, whatchamacallit, slipping and sliding, so that's cool. I wonder if they did that trade on purpose or if it was just kind of an accidental thing. Okay, we got Asher. Oh, that's a cool name. Oh, he's a cool-looking dragon. Thanks for bringing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? <laughs> a lot of senile old dragons, huh? That's probably why they're so worried about the eggs. They need some fresh blood up in here. <laughs> Thank you, Bat. I needed you. Edge you go. Bad snowball thrown guy. Okay, get the Nord. Off the really? That wasn't fair. I didn't realize he was gonna take that many hits to go off the edge. I thought on the second hit he was Are you kidding me? Oh, that's why I hate charging those stupid glass chests. So annoying. Gonna put me all the way back here. Yep. Erg. Okay, it's fine. It is what it is. Better not get worked up over it, right? I mean, I kind of deserve part of that. Part of that was my own stupid fault. Okay, he's taken care of. Get you. Yeah, see, if I would have pushed him there, he would have went right off. Athlon. Defeat all the three ski norks. <laughs> cool. 
We're getting lots of trophies. Maybe we will go for like 100% completion on this. I didn't think that the trophies would be this easy. I thought most of them were like around the skill points. Are we even getting any skill points for this stuff? Yeah, we didn't get the one that was like all bull stuck when we just did uh, the town square. So I don't know. Hmm. So it looks like that the skill points aren't necessarily always tried to tied to trophies and vice versa kind of thing. So, huh. Gotcha, you nork. There we go, gem, gem, gem. And who are you? The last dragon, right? Ragnar. I like that he goes Ragnar the Red, Skyrim. Oh, you're You've cool too. Well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? If you don't know, then you're not ready. <laughs> yeah, it was all the gems in here, right? Because I don't want to try to backtrack. Nope, we're good. Okay. Got you. Okay, there was the finish. So we should be almost done. Got you. Lots of treasure. Another extra life. Awesome. Because okay, there's 400 gems, so we're very close to being dead. Uh oh. How the heck do I get up there? There's a whole bunch of extra lives. And I'm missing gems back this way? Okay, Sparks, how did I miss gems back in that zone? Great, I miss gems back in that zone. I don't know how I'll get all those extra lives, but I'll go back for the gems. I wonder how you get those. That's like three extra lives right there. It's a little weird. Okay, Spyro. He says we missed him this way. But I got up there. Huh? This is like pointing down? Okay, now I'm I'm actually like thoroughly confused here, dude. He's pointing all sorts of places down, like all over the place. Huh. Okay, I am actually thoroughly confused here, guys. What are these gems? Oh wait, are those gems? For me to pick up. Okay, I'm gonna see maybe if I gotta glide from up there. That's weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's like he's pointing at those gates, so maybe those are gems on top of those sticks and I have to glide from up here, maybe. And that's why I didn't think anything of it. No? Okay, now I'm I'm starting to get really confused. I mean, I only need 16 more gems here. I am so confused. Okay, I am getting really confused because he says, okay, he's pointing here, right? Yeah, he's pointing, like, right at these stick things. So what do these stick things do? Because I tried blowing fire on them, and it did absolutely nothing. And then I tried, uh, whatchamacallit, the... I tried, like, diving at them, gliding towards them. I'm not sure exactly what it wants from me here. Okay, I could try charging at him, because I didn't try that. I'm just so afraid of falling off the edge. Oh, that's all you do. Well, now I feel stupid. I'm like sitting here just like staring at him trying to figure out. That's kind of a weird thing to do, but okay. It's a good mechanic to know for the future though. I am missing two gems still. Are you serious? What are these two gems I'm missing? Oh, this is embarrassing. How much backtracking you will make me do? It's probably like what, an enemy or something I missed? Okay, it says it's that way. Okay, he's saying it's like on the other side of there. Like I said, this is gonna be a slightly longer episode because I wanted to finish this area. But I'm starting to get a little concerned. I'm having such a hard time finding all this stuff. 
Huh. Okay, there's like a single gem left. He says it's that way. Oh, I missed a Nork? Or did he respawn? I don't remember there being a Nork in here. Oh, no, I do remember this Nork. But he doesn't drop gems. I already killed him once before. Okay, Spark says it's up here and to the left, right? Oh, it's the, more of these. How did I not notice these, dude? That is really embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna fly over there because I don't wanna have to go all the way back around. Yeah, level complete. Save up, whatever. That was bad, dude. I, I should have paid more attention to those stick things. But see, that goes to show how noticed they are, but that also is good to know too for future stuff. So in future levels, if I see like gems sitting on top of a stick, ram it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. There we go, get me out of here. And out we go. Sweet, we're almost at 6,000 gems now. Awesome, so we're like at the halfway point. I was about to say, it felt like we were missing a bunch of stuff, so that's good to know. Cool, okay. So now we'll head back here. I thought about going to Wild Flight, just so we would be at that gate again. But yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll travel to Wild Flight and then exit the level there. Just because I think it would be better to be at that gate. Because that's where we technically left off. Oh wow, it's just going to straight up start me. Okay, right let's just drop. Thank you. There we go. Now it should let me just leave the gate, right? Yeah, returning to Beast Makers. Awesome. There we go. Right back where we left off. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, guys. Yeah, we're doing really good. Look at that. Almost 60% done. Awesome. And 12 eggs, 48 dragons, and almost half the gems. So, in the next episode, we're going to finish off the Beastmaker's Hub World, and we're also going to find all the gates. I'll probably start from now on just doing the gates as I run across them so this doesn't happen again. But, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!